Are you a beginner runner that looking to start running? Or you're a runner that runs once a week, three times a week, or even every day? The key to running is sticking to the plan that you know that you could be consistent. And a consistent runner will run stronger and feel better. Now consistency <clears throat> means different things to each individual. An example of a consistent runner is a runner that goes out three times a week and runs for 30 minutes at a certain pace for that whole month. Now, let us help you be consistent with your running. Be intentional, plan your runs, and make sure that you are scheduling your runs. You need to know, are you gonna be running in the morning or are you gonna be running at night? Is this run gonna be a speed run workout? Or are you going for that long distance run tomorrow? Now, if you was planning on running in the morning, but you are unable to, then make sure that you try to run before you get home from work. Because you know once you get home, it's gonna be so much harder to get back out there and run. Make running a habit and to make you to be more consistent with your running, try to make sure that you put out everything the day before that you need for your run, like your running gear, your gels that you may be using if you're going for a long run, your water, your water belt, all those things that you'll be using on your runs, make sure they are laid out and ready for that run and make sure you do not skip run days because once you skip a day, it will start compounding and you'll be missing next day and more workouts and more runs during that week. And that's not how to stay consistent. Now you can also try to track your run and use your journal so you can see your process and your progress and that will help you to get out there and stay running. Also, if you need that motivation or accountability to continue running, especially with this new year, then try running with a friend or join a running group because group runs are so fun and having other people run with you will help you lace up your gear and get out there and run more frequently. Another motivation would be training for a race because that would get you consistently training because you don't want to show up to a race and don't know or not be able to finish it or burn out. Definitely check our runners playlist. If you are looking for a race, we have a playlist for 5K, a half marathon, and a full marathon. So we got you covered for your next race. But races training will keep you motivated and running more. Just go for a run. Getting out the door is sometimes the hardest part for a runner. Some people might have a hectic life, might be busy, or just lack the motivation to have a consistent runner life. But just lace up those shoes and go out. Even if you are just running 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, the more consistent you are going out there for, for the runs, the more you will go out there and run and keep at it. Have a pre-run routine. Now psychologists do show that people that have a continual routine are more likely to keep at it. So utilize a running routine to help you to stay consistent. That could be ending from having a pre-run snack, so some type of carbohydrate that you take in before that run, playing a pre-run music to get you amped up and ready for your run, or just having a warm-up session about 30 minutes before that run to get you motivated and ready for that run. And start small. You don't have to have a major 
running goal right off the bat. You could start small by just going out there three or four times a week. But if you do that, you want to stay consistent. So that means that you don't want to take additional three to four days off from running and keep up from that. Continue with the momentum of running consistently by slowly getting into running, increasing your pace and momentum from there, like doing that 25 minutes run, like I mentioned earlier. Run in the early morning. It's nothing like seeing the sun rise for an early morning runner. And that's me, I run early mornings. It make it easier to go ahead and get that run out right before your day actually start. It also allow you to be consistent at keeping up with running since you already got that run in before your day might get hatted or you have other goals they need to meet. And keep in mind that if you are choosing to run early, you don't have to only run in the mornings. You can choose to run later in that day as well. So mix it up. Don't overdo it. Now these are for runners that might have been running for a while, but took some time off for injury or life circumstances or any other reasons. So if you are that runner and coming back to running, just don't overdo it. So that means that if you're a marathon runner, you don't have to jump back into another marathon training. You could have lower goals like doing a 5K, a 10K, or even a half marathon and get consistent at that before jumping back to that marathon training. Start a running streak. Now, there's no other better way to make sure that you stay consistent if it's hard for you to have a goal or reach any other consistent running habit than to have a running streak that you're trying to do. Now, it's not ideal to do this year long, at least in my opinion, due to sometimes you need to take rest day, but this is a fun way to jumpstart a running if you are new to running. So a running streak is pretty much it was that you are running consistently every day for a set time or mileage, anywhere from running every day for 25 minutes and you continue to do that. And it's the best way to build a running habit. Now, if you are a runner that been training for a while, doing some type of race like a 5K or a marathon, and you need something different to change it up and make running exciting so you can still go out the door and be consistent runner. Then you could try different things like being a cross country runner, doing triathlons, or even doing adventure runs. And I know 5Ks definitely have some of that. If you are a runner that will need some motivation to consistently go out there and run, you might benefit from a runner coach. So therefore we do have a video about should you get a running coach and that might be beneficial for you to watch Nate's. Now a running coach is gonna help you come out with goals, keep you running the right way and give you some ideals for training. So that will help you to stay consistent and motivation to keep go out there and run. Don't assess about it. Now it gonna be days that you are going to miss runs or you don't have a perfect run or something may go good or it may go bad, but don't overanalyze it. So that means that if you have not been consistent in going out there and runs, don't try to stress about it. Just lace up your shoes and go out running the next day. Stick with it. Discipline is the key and try to mix it up and have fun. Nate, watch how to balance running and life, and we cannot wait to see you on our next video. Until next time, bye-bye.